Hi, welcome to the Strategic Advisor Board. I'm Dr. Bruce Rippey with All Things Health and Wellness. Uh, we're doing a quick series on the microbiome in your gut and mental health. Now, there's a lot to be said for health in all parts with the microbiome, and you are all right. I got a lot of very good emails. I love, by the way, my fans and my trolls. These are wonderful people. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Uh, I just try to better everything that I do with what you say, and I take it all as positive. But I have to tell you that you're right. I've been putting mental health first in a lot of these things. And yes, weight and weight loss, uh, strength fatigue, sleep, a lot of these things are affected by the microbiome as well. And in a lot of cases, people have their particular agenda as being more important than mental health was the fatigue or the sleep or the whatever. And you know what? I'm just going to say you're all right. It really, whatever you're dealing with is the right thing for you. And so that is such a, an important message to get out there. So let's talk a little bit about that, right? We've talked a little bit about what neuroscience is. Okay. So when we deal with like depression, I want to go back to mental health here, and then I will move on to other stuff. But when we look at depression, we understand that during certain problems, whatever's happened, like we had a, a lady lose her mom, and we found that in the gut biome, there are certain bacteria that produce butyrate. Butyrate is a neurotransmitter that changes how you feel. It actually really does. Then I also understand that there are certain bacteria in your gut that produce on purpose because your body needs it serotonin and dopamine. And these transmitters, if they're not produced, you lose that feeling of well-being. So there's a couple of question marks that we don't know yet, which is actually kind of exciting in this realm. And that is fasting actually, in some cases, allows your gut biome to reset. That was very interesting to us. Eating only fruits and vegetables also appears to allow your gut biome to reset. We have been sold and told that we need grains and we need meat. We need protein. And the fact is we do not need probably one-tenth of the protein that we currently get from meat. We really don't need it. I like it too, but I'm just telling you the truth. You can look all that stuff up if you want to. But if you want really good neuro, uh, neurotransmitters, serotonin, dopamine, those things that make us feel good, Make sure that you are consuming high enough fiber foods and consume those first. The very biggest tip I can possibly give you is fresh fiber first. So those of us that get a big salad and it comes out with spinach and kale and uh, lettuces and all of that good stuff, maybe little bits of broccoli and carrots, brilliant. Please do that. It's really, really important. Those of you that are not big fans of that kind of, of fiber, Go towards your hummuses. Hummus is a terrific blend of fiber. It's basically chickpeas and tahini, which is a sunflower seed, a roasted sunflower seed. These are all very high fiber and an excellent resource. And if you can talk yourself into, instead of eating the chips, which also have some fiber, if you can talk yourselves into eating carrots or celery or broccoli or cauliflower with your hummus, you have done yourself a huge, huge favor. Serotonin, you'll actually feel better after your meal. You actually feel like, wow, I actually feel better after my meal. I don't know about you, but if you've gone to Sonic recently, which has just gone downhill in so many ways, and everything's brown, and it's you know, there's nothing on there that has any color or crunch, right? After you've eaten that, uh, you just don't you just don't feel so good, right? I'm sure that there's lots of things to say about all kinds of places. And Sonic actually has the best breakfast burritos. But I will say that uh, everything there, your chicken strips and you get a piece of bread and you get some French fries and you feel, oh my goodness. We only eat those kinds of things if we're you know, on our way out of town or something like that. Otherwise we eat very healthy. But I can tell you, uh, nobody feels good afterwards. And that's the reason why your, your bacteria are not able to produce the trans neurotransmitters that you, your body actually wants. It wants these things. So, so go for fresh fiber first and then whatever else you're going to eat. Uh, yeah, go ahead and eat that, you know. And, uh, and then if you need me, talk to me. Dr. Bruce at BrentMed.com, D-R-B-R-U-C-E at B-R-I-N-T-M-E-D.com. And send me questions. We live, love these questions. The microbiome is absolutely important because of the neurotransmitters that it creates. And uh, butyrate, you probably hadn't heard of that. So look it up. It's kind of a neat thing. B-U-T-R-Y, B-U-T-Y-R, butyrate, butyrate, B-U-T-Y-R. Uh, it's a really good thing just to kind of know those things in case it comes up in a party favorite conversation.
I will go back and start talking about some of the other things that can happen if your microbiome is off in the next videos. And in the meantime, be an example of what's possible.